Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CMA Group trading floor in Chicago talking yen futures. Well, so far, the best performing major currency of 2018, the Japanese yen, has held its key moving average support. The several moving averages that people watch, the 50-day being one of them, we broke down below it in the futures, but now being back up around 94.09 or so on the futures contract, we are above the 50-day moving average, and that moving average so far has held support. We have Hirohika Kuroda, the Bank of Japan's uh, governor, who has been formally reappointed by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, talking about sticking to the accord they signed five years ago, which is an accord that defined their inflation target. That inflation target is a 2% target, and Kuroda said he will stick to that, which actually helped to weaken the yen a little bit when that announcement first came out, or that statement, rather, that quote first came out, assuming because he's been talking over the past couple of weeks about potentially being in a position to remove accommodation, the idea of, again, sticking to this accord that was signed five years ago seemed to imply that he might think that they're a bit off from removing accommodation. They might actually step on the gas a little bit rather than get off it and take the accommodation away. On top of that, Kuroda is also warning about the trade war, the potential trade war between, between the U.S. and China, and that how that might affect the economies, not only globally, but in the Pacific Rim, as all these economies are affected by China and the relationship between China, Australia, and the rest of the Pacific Rim. So a lot going on with Kuroda. The yen didn't move too much today on a relative basis, but again, it is the best performing currency against the U.S. dollar this year. It's been showing some recent weakness, but seems to be holding in as of today. This is Bob Iacchino talking about yen futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.